Good evening, Crystal Heart. We want to thank you at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery for featuring us on the Crystal Heart Show. We are thrilled to be featuring an international melange of artists. It's very eclectic. We have Philip Catania, whose wonderful works are from upstate New York, surrealism. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is honored, and we thank you, Crystal Heart, for featuring us. With us is Philip and Karen, his beautiful wife, Catania. Yes. It's so good to see both of you back. Ditto. It's yeah. nice to see you again. And, and, and I was just saying, I just love your outfit, and you said your husband picked this out? He picked it out. I tried everything on in the store. He said, no, try that one on. And I did, and it fit, and he loved it, and I did too. So see, you're, you, you have the eye, uh, not only for art, but uh, for clothes also. It's all the same. It's all the same. So, so tell us, since we last talked, what is new and, and uh, tell us a little bit about your series here tonight. Well, um, what's new is I have a show coming up in uh, Giverny, France, uh, through Who's Who in International Art, in which I'm now an exhibiting member. And uh, four of these paintings were in Bologna, Italy. And... Um, my show is evolving, and uh, I'm really excited about this, uh, this series of paintings. That one's called Contemplation. And it's just a person deep in thought with all these nuances of things that are in front of him and beyond him. The other one is uh, sort of very literal. It's called The Club. It's just the energy and the craziness of uh, social life. The third one is a little bit, um, a little more sensitive in the sense that it's uh, atonement. It's, uh, it's it's deep in contemplation. I, I really like that painting a lot. You've been thinking a lot. Excuse me. You've been thinking a lot. Well, their paintings talk to me, and I talk to them, and they kind of develop themselves through my communication with them. A matter of fact, my, my cameraman who's shooting last year when he saw it on TV liked your work. Oh. I just want you to know that. Thank you. Yeah, he really... Uh, they have a tendency to reinvent themselves. Uh, the more you look at them, the more revealing they become. Bob Moss is shooting. He's very cerebral. So just so you know. Thank you. We move on. The, th the fourth painting is called uh, Conscience. It's like different sides within ourselves in terms of making a decision and, and somehow there's a, an international spirit inside of us that sort of uh, overwhelms us and makes us decide what we decide. But it's like a polarity of, uh, of good and evil also. The other one is life's passages, just people that come to you in your lifetime. And it's sort of a reflective painting. The third, the last, next one is called Lip Sync. It's sort of a, a fun painting that I did for the Bologna show. Uh, it was a series of four paintings. Contemplation, the club, uh, Lip Sync, and Hope. Hope is the one next to it. The next one is called uh, Alpha and Omega. It's a takeoff of Adam and Eve. I had a lot of fun doing that painting. I had a show uh, in in... Greenport, Greenport, yeah, Greenport, Brooklyn, where they were doing uh, Milton's uh, Paradise Lost, and that was the painting that I was doing for that show. The last two, the first of the last, uh, for the yellow painting is called uh, I Miss You, Words of Longing. It's uh, a reflective painting of a certain mood of, of loneliness and uh, remorse. With one happy spot, my wife says. And the last painting is uh, called Catfellow's Prayer, Dream. Catfellow's Dream. And uh, it's just an abstract uh, of cat shapes. And you said last time that it was an exciting life, so everything's still, it, must, it looks like it's even getting more exciting. Much more, <laughs> much more, much, much. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, and good luck. Thanks.